On the day after the student fights, there were two main differences at Tri-Cities High. Today, about 90 students stayed home, and three off-duty police officers from East Point were here, patrolling the school grounds. They will work at Tri-Cities for about a month until the school can bring in so-called resource officers. They will be unarmed security people and counselors with arrest powers. You have to take preventive measures and corrective measures when there uh, uh, tends to be a problem. Uh, Principal Herschel Robinson is talking right about yesterday during a bomb scare hoax. He says several black students first tripped a white student and then began a fight. Some youngsters charged the incident was racially motivated. Others say no, The Tri-Cities has become too crowded since four other schools merged into this one. Yesterday's incident may have been based more on past rivalries. It's not any racial discrimination. It's something that happened. It was a lot of confusion. And it's just something that happened at the wrong time. If it had happened any other day, nothing would have been said about it. It just would have been another fight. But that fight is speeding up some changes that the school says were already planned. By this weekend, a fence with barbed wire will surround Tri-Cities High School. That is supposed to control where students can enter and leave the building. Students will soon be getting picture IDs. And the school is thinking about installing a metal detector. Is the high school the place to have a metal detector and barbed wire fence? I don't think so, but if it's necessary for our protection, then it should be here. I don't think it's going to do anything to the atmosphere because we are here to learn. I don't care how it looks. Okay, I know it doesn't look good, that good, and the fences are going to make us look like we're in a prison, but I'm here to learn, and that's my only purpose. So I really don't care about the outer appearance. Tomorrow, there will be a counseling meeting for students. That meeting had already been planned to discuss any anxieties brought on by school consolidation. Yesterday's scuffle is likely to be a major topic of conversation. With the South Mobile Bureau in East Point, John Alston, Channel 2 Action News.